The center has completed the detailed project report for the 1 lakh crore rupees Great Nicobar project, and tenders are expected within six months after approval. Russian President Vladimir Putin has announced that Russia has successfully tested its Poseidon nuclear-powered autonomous torpedo, that is capable of creating radioactive tsunamis up to 500 meters high, that can destroy entire coastal cities' naval bases or ports. Hyderabad-based Vector Technics has developed fully in-house propulsion systems for next-generation drones and loitering munitions. Chinese army troops test-fired the HJ-12 anti-tank missile, drawing ridicule online for its thick white smoke trail, which can easily reveal the operator's position and compromise stealth during combat. Medani Group has received airworthiness certification from Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification, and it can now begin full-scale production for engine programs. Philippines is likely to buy two enhanced Scorpion-class submarines under its Horizon 3 program, with hulls built at Mazagan Dock Shipbuilders and final assembly in Philippines, and the recently signed MDL Naval Group MOU specifically targets this potential deal. The DRDO has initiated work on an indigenous quadrant German Opal's frequency seeker to enhance radar-guided targeting for future missiles and autonomous systems. Using dual-channel processing, it offers precise tracking, counter-jamming resilience, and multi-target discrimination. India has launched Project Pragya Shakti, to establish a unified integration framework across all defense systems, that will enable seamless communication and data sharing among platforms of different origins, including from the US, Russia, France and the UK. To sustain India's fleet of 124 Arjun Mark I main battle tanks, the Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has initiated a plan to replace the 1,400 horsepower German MTU engines with 1,200 horsepower Cummins QSD-30 engines that will address the spare shortages from closed MTU production lines. The DRDO is advancing toward laser homing anti-tank missiles with 30 plus kilometers range. Evolved from the Sunt standoff anti-tank guided missile, this variant is designed for GPS-denied precision strikes and long-range engagements in mountain warfare. The ground-launched version will reach 25 km, while the air-launched variant from attack helicopters will exceed 30 km, significantly enhancing India's high-altitude warfare capabilities. The Indian Air Force has approved the production of 120 Tejas Mark II fighter jets, followed by an additional 80 units, once the initial batch proves its combat readiness and reliability. A two-phase plan has been finalized for weapons integration, Phase 1 will integrate core weapons like Astra Mark 1 and 2, Derby ER, and Spice 2000 precision munitions while Phase 2 will bring in Rudram anti-radiation missiles Pramos NG and Nagastroloid ring munitions to deliver full-spectrum strike capability. Aeronautical Development Agency and HAL will certify only six core weapons, that will enable parallel testing faster induction and reduced program costs, with progressive upgrades carried out under Indian Air Force-led integration and trials, that will compress development timelines and avoid the delays that affected the Tejas Mark 1A's integration phase. The Aeronautical Development Agency has perfected the AMCA's internal weapon bay with a fully indigenous hydraulic actuated by fold door system, that will open in less than two seconds, while keeping the fighter jet's stealth intact. It will use sawtooth edges to deflect radar waves, and the twin redundant power drive units to ensure fault-tolerant operation even under 9G loads and Mach 2 dives. The internal weapon bay system will support a 1,500 kg payload, and 6 Astra Mark II missiles. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.